Do you know what the best part about having the week off and the podcast was? And what was it, Troy? It was. It, it's not. It's not the new recording software. It's not your new camera. It's none of that. Mm. It's because when the 60th anniversary trailer came out, we weren't prepared, and so you were asleep. So I got to talk yeah. about it without you interfering. And honestly, it was just the most beautiful thing in the world. It's not really. I, I don't think we can't think of a joke or like oh, impromptu. So that will have to do. That will That'll do. do. I Please love roll how intro, now our right. intro is just going to have sound effects like as a crispy pro video. That's going to be great, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can really see that we have we have pushed the boundaries here on Who's There Doc Two podcast for season two, episode one, episode forty one, season two, episode one, season two, episode 41. one. Oh, there we go. He's nailed it. Now he couldn't decide, but he's he's now officially nailed yeah. it. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. it's season two of Who's There Doc Two podcast. Roll the intro. Roll it. I'm pointing to the other camera. Yeah, you're an idiot. You pointed to the wrong camera. <laughs> Keep it in. Keep it in. Point at the camera now. There you go. Roll the intro. Oh, bye. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back to season two of You're Who's the There? A d- oh my god, I am. <laughs> keep it in, keep it in. Hello <laughs> and welcome back to season two of Who's There? A Doctor Who podcast. Uh, a show where we talk about the best show in all of time and space, Doctor Who. I'm your host, Crispy Pro, and joining me is the man that can't control his laughter right now, Troy Red Archer Live. How are you? Can Obviously, you for our video watchers, we, we have, I have a new camera right you now. Do. So, uh, usually I'm looking at that one, but this is, this is the, new, the new me, the new us, the new It's the who. Crispy camera. Like, it's not that yeah. new. If anyone watches your YouTube videos, it's not new at all, but it looks better in the podcast. Well, it, makes you look it, is, it is actually, this is the old Crispy Pro camera right oh, here. Can but I now it? I've upgraded my kit so I can actually plug this camera into my computer. So it's very cool. Okay, I don't want your camera then. If I can't plug it in my computer, I don't want it. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry, mate. No, yeah, because you said that when we originally set this up, because I remember seeing you recording your Crispy Pro. It's so weird seeing you look at the camera while I'm talking to you now. That's so odd. Oh my gosh. Ooh. But yeah, like, when we first held the podcast, I'd seen, obviously, his, his, like, well, now his old camera, and I was like, can you not set that up with OBS so you can record that way? He went, no, it doesn't wire up that way. I can, I can only record that no. just into the mic. It's not even attached to the computer. It's just a video I record on the camera. I was like, okay, fair. Yeah. And I was hoping one day we get crispy pro video quality in the podcast, and, and well, we've got it now. We've upgraded. It's happened. And we're using new recording software as well. I know. That, we, you, that so- you bought. Go on, do you, want to, do you want to tell everyone how much you paid? Probably don't. Well, I paid a silly amount of money yeah, for, a new, for a new podcast recording software. Well, it's showing software. you that we're, we're, we're showing podcare towards our podcast. Yes. Thank you, Troy, for the save there for my uh, mispronunciation. Always there for you, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate that. But yeah, so we, we have some new software, um, Riverside FM, pay us money. Um, so we're using <laughs> their <do>. product <laughs> and it's, it's pretty cool. It's basically podcast recording software. So hopefully it makes, um, the process for us easier. Um, and season two, you know, maybe, maybe Crispy will finally edit something, maybe some shorts for the channel. Who knows? Who knows? I find it interesting that you're now saying maybe, and yet 10 minutes ago it was, I'll do two or three shorts a week. Probably. He's already it's backtracking. Called, Once we're tease. on the record. It's a tease. Once a we're tease. on the record, he's all, he's backing out. This is what always I'm happens. I'm left out. to pick up the pieces every time. Like a pull over fate song. Troy, I mean, come on. Troy. But yes, so with, with this new software comes certain new uh, possibilities. It does. And so... And you had one of them in like, the intro. In saying, in, in saying that, um, I think all of us should just really thank Troy for the editing he did for season one. So if you could all put your hands together for <laughs> Troy right now, I think that would be a really appropriate thing. <laughs> For all of us. The best bit is, I've so heard much. no other sound effects other than the drum roll <laughs> and the applause. I don't even know what else you've got. And that oh, is what worries me. There's, well, stick around, folks, and find out. Because uh, today we are talking about uh, the 60th anniversary teaser trailer that dropped when we were away. Oh, I know. Troy, what else are we doing today? Well, we, we have also got to talk a little bit about the new uh, filming photos. From New Cardiff. filming photos? Because series 14 is now in full swing of being filmed. We, we it's have, now in flux? We have ca- it is. We have campaign offices. We have live slug reactions. We've got all sorts of stuff. There's some crazy stuff going on. 
It's live great. slug reactions. Yeah, <laughs> we've already got live slug reaction. It's great. My goodness. It's great. Makes no sense to anybody over the age of like 30, probably. And we know we have a wider audi- audience gap here, mm. so don't worry, we'll explain. We'll, we'll make you, you know, all down and trendy with the memes. I'm never saying Thank that you. phrase again. Um, no. So what, what do we want to start with? I feel like the trailer's going to take up most of it. Should we, should we do, it definitely like we've will. always done, we do our news segment first. We've got to do okay? the news. We do our news. We have to do that. Do, do you want a sting for the news? Have you got some kind of... Actually, do you know what? Before, before you do that, before you do that, we should, we should, we should actually reintroduce ourselves, because this is season two, episode oh, yeah. one. Hi, Maybe guys. Welcome on, back. Who, who didn't listen to the first episode of the podcast. If you haven't done that, what are you doing? Go what listen are you doing, to it. mate? We've always go. said, go listen to episode one to get an idea of who we are, and then come yeah. back. It's your no, fault. Right, right this second, it is your fault. It's, yeah. it's not our fault. It's not our fault. No, not at all. It's not our fault at Absolutely all. Absolutely not. No, no. Thank you. But let's, let's do some introductions very briefly, just to kind of bring everyone up to speed okay. with, with who we are. So who are you? Who are you? Uh, hi there. My name is uh, Crispy, Fr- Crispy Fries. Crispy Fries. <laughs> I can't believe off. I said Crispy I Fries. You, you, one week off and you've lost all professionalism. Lost, this is glorious. Lost, one week off and I've lost all sense of self, Troy. I just identified as I lost a my voice. You lost your brain. You know, we both lost things. Yeah, it's fine. We both lost things over the break. Hang on, let me start, let me start that again. Hi. I'm keeping it My in. name is Crispy Pro. <laughs> And yeah, no, you're keeping it in. My name's Crispy <laughs> Pro. I've been making Doctor Who YouTube videos for the past 10 years, almost to the day, Troy, by the way. Oh, I'm what day? I'm telling you now, it's uh, January 19th will be the day. So keep your eye on the Crispy Pro channel for a little celebration. Ooh, um, two weeks today it's coming up. the day of recording. It's coming Very up. exciting. It's coming up. Mm. Um, so, yeah. And then uh, my lovely co-host, Troy, we, we met a while ago on his podcast um mm. but yeah troy tell me about tell me about you please before i do Thank what was you. the podcast called this is your chance to make it's called the red Oscar. cast it was called good the lads, red cast good lads oh. troy was made a podcast called red archer live no he didn't yeah no, no he didn't. he didn't he, did he never not. forgave you for that sentence he never forgave and you he never will but yes hello i'm troy because apparently i'm the only one here who goes by my first name aren't you oscar um <gasps> Also known as Red Archer Live. <laughs> no, um, yeah, so I'm Troy, and I've been more of a gaming YouTuber for the last eight-ish years. I started in September 2014, so I'm not quite as old on the YouTube scene as Crispy. I've not got quite as many grey hairs. Um, but I'm known just, most just for a game one. known as Payday 2. So if you, if you ever play Payday 2, then, you know, feel free to go watch my videos. Thanks. Um, but mainly gaming stuff. I made a second channel called The Cosmic Vortex, which was to talk about Marvel and Doctor Who stuff. But... I kind of upload like every six months. The reason I haven't uploaded on there as much nowadays, I'll be honest, is because I'm more interested in this podcast and pushing stuff out on here because I feel like this is more of a, like we're doing it's well happening. on here and I want to put my it's effort hit, into that happening. than mm. Cosmic. You know, I might do the odd, odd Marvel video, but like I've got a Marvel actor interview I'm trying to set up at the minute, which is kind of cool. And I'll yeah. put that up on there. Would it be a bit awkward Ooh. really if I do that and I've not uploaded for like six months? Hey, everyone, I'm yeah, back. I'm interviewing go. a guy and then I'm going to nah. disappear again for the six months. Um, no, but yeah, fine. as Crispy said, we, we did an interview on my podcast, The Redcast, my other podcast, where I like interview actors and YouTubers and stuff. And I only brought him on purely to talk about Doctor Who. And we just had this this chemistry. And then after about a year and a half of badgering him, like Donkey Badger Shrek at the start of Shrek 2 in that carriage, eventually he agreed to do a Doctor Who podcast with me. Yeah. And here we are. We've been going for nearly a year. Nearly a year, I Crispy. No, I'm One month so to go. excited. What are we doing what? for the year anniversary of the podcast? Feb? We did start in Feb. Oh we did gosh. start in Feb. We better have plans. Wow. What, what, are we, what are they cooking? Hold up, let him cook. Hold up. <laughs> let him cook. Let, let him, cook. him cook. Someone um, cooked here. We'll do, something, we'll do something fun for the one year. I, my pitch is uh, Questions and Quizzes episode two. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Yeah, that's also a running joke. Questions and Quizzes was episode six. It was one of the worst performing episodes of the podcast. Yeah. I think we assumed I too soon it. people want us to answer questions. But we're going to do yeah. another one. We have no shame. We'll do we don't one. care. We have no. a loyal audience now. And a loyal mm. audience who is now on Discord. Because that's our yes. little segue very quickly before the oh, news. Look at all this. Talk- we're segue. talking too much. Okay, we're talking too much, but we always yeah. do. You'll get used to us. Our news and updates. We have then polls and Q and A's from the last week. Then news and then the main topic. So if you're one of those yeah. people who has a very short attention span and gets annoyed after five minutes, sorry, you're gonna have to try and put up with it or just turn the podcast off. But rate us five stars first, please. We're four point yeah. nine on Spotify. Please get us back up to five. We'd really get appreciate up to, it. Get up to five, guys. And if you leave some... Five guys? I prefer McDonald's. Yeah, um, I know, If you sorry. leave some actual worded reviews on Apple, we might start reading those out, because I think you can leave worded reviews on Apple Podcasts. Yeah, the only reviews there on Apple Podcasts right now are myself and my sister, so go ahead on Apple Podcasts right Can we read now. out your review? Can we read out your review for the podcast? I can't remember what I wrote, but yeah. <laughs> look it up. Look it up very quickly while, um, while I explain our Discord. Um, no, go, my, go, phone, go my phone's look. away. My phone's away. I don't get, have get it. Your, get your producer from behind the scenes to chuck oh, you your phone. My producer is yes. sleep. 
is asleep right oh, now. Oh, oh, they're asleep. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, that's fine. How are they asleep with right next to you? Do you because, not have enough? Well, you know, some people find the Chris boring. It's the ASMR podcast now. He's going to have to talk really quietly for the rest of the episode. Please don't do that. Hey, guys. Um, anyway, yes. Yeah, 60th so, anniversary. We announced this. Shut up. We announced this during the uh, the live stream that I did um, on Christmas Day. I can't believe I live streamed on Christmas Day for this podcast. It's a dedication that I have for you lot. Lost my voice the day after. So that's fun. Literally only just wow. started feeling better now. I had fatigue the last couple of days. Sleeping was a problem. I've had about every different possible symptom. I think it's been COVID, genuinely. I think and Troy COVID. has shown up. Yeah. I'm proud of that. I'm still here. Um, but we, yeah. we kind of conceived it during the live stream, me and the, the live stream chat, to make a Discord server. And one now exists. So I will leave a link in the description um, on the YouTube video. I'll post about it on social media once this episode goes out. So if you're listening on an audio platform, head over to Twitter, at Who's There DW, or Instagram, at Who's There DW. Twitter's probably better. We're better updating that. Although I'm I'm giving Crispy the keys here. He's going to start posting on Instagram. I'm going to start giving him the uh, episode art, and he's going to post it every week. You didn't know yeah. that, but he is going to do it now. No, no, no. Um, I, I'm, in, I'm the Instagram boy now, so get excited. Exactly, you are the Instagram boy. Um, but if you want to join the Discord server, hang out, get a chance to talk to me and Crispy. Probably most, most likely me, because I'm the only one who's terminally online enough on Discord, so you can yeah. talk to me on there mainly. Um, but talk to the community, though. interact, hang out, have some fun. It'll be a good time. So make sure you join the server if you are interested. But Beautiful. I want to just have a little bit. We didn't do a full-on Q&A and poll at the end of last episode, because it was the end of the season. We didn't really want to leave things hanging um, going into the new year. But I did post when the costume was announced for Shooty Gatwa and Millie Gibson, uh, to ask people what they thought about their, the outfits. So I just thought I'd read a couple out very quickly. You know, just, just get a couple out there, Let's Crispy. A couple out there. Uh, E-B-C-D-E-F-G-H has said, OMG, I love it. Oh no, those shoes are leather. Right, well, that's going to bother me a bit if they are. What? So they liked the like... outfit and then realised the shoes are made of and leather like... and then, then went, no. <laughs> you, know what they were, you know what they were doing? You know what they were doing? They were downloading the photos from blackarchive.com and it was loading very, very slowly. They yeah. were like, oh, yes, this is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. And they got to the shoes and like, oh, no, actually. It's, He's not wearing like canvas trainers. What? No. <laughs> what? No. Fair enough, though. You know, we welcome everyone here, even if you're vegans. Ugh, I'm joking. I'm joking. We do welcome you. <laughs> What's I'm, I'm joking. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke, guys. Mostly. What? Troy no, makes jokes. <laughs> <laughs> he does that I do that. that I'm very sarcastic and sometimes people don't get that but I pr- pr- trust me if I wasn't being sarcastic you'd know you'd know he knows yeah. he's been at the end of my anger before when he's not edited me? anything for me yeah he yeah. yeah I'm not talking about you by name now I'm just saying he, he. Um, and one of the one we got one that's really nice well apart from the veganism um, that sounds like a being you know what I mean you know what I mean <laughs> and another one from Lolly Dolly has said I'm not gonna lie I kind of feel like it needs a hat or something to elevate it which is true. A few oh. people have said that it kind of feels like it's missing something. My, Why are you raising my, your hand please. inside a classroom? No, please. Uh, no. Sir Archer Live. No. No? Just because you're asking, please. I'm going to say no. Just talk, my brother. Talk. Okay. You have the well, bad camera. I was just going to say that um, if you look in the picture that Shooty posted right after his first day of filming, oh, there's yeah. one where he's in, his, in the trailer. That mm-hmm. is, he's with his makeup artist. And on the wall is reference photos for his doctor's outfit. And one of them, or like there's a whole section where it's just beautiful hats. And I feel like a hat, he would rock a hat. Yeah. Absolutely rock. A, be- a beautiful brown hat. You'd see you'd see it like a horse race or something, you know? He, he might be like Matt Smith, where he like occasionally puts hats on, fezzes or sticks and I whatever. would love it, yeah. personally. I think Shooty, well, Shooty could rock anything. And I think, mm. yeah, I love his outfit. Yeah. Except the shoes are leather. but. I know, I know, right? With now, now, now it's just like you're taking the mic. Now, come on. Yeah, come on. I know. Come on. Sorry. Um, one more positive one from Graham who said, love the look, love the bright shirt and darker jacket and trousers. So, very cool. Although, I don't very think he points cool. out, his, he does have Gallifrey and nail, nail tattoos. Yeah, like he Gallifrey does. symbols tattooed on his nails. They're very cool. He's got lots of rings. He's also got a little necklace. So, there is like a bit of unique flair to it, but I think it's just because it, it's smaller stuff. It's less noticeable. It doesn't pop out immediately when you see a big photo of the outfit. So yeah, you don't see like no. a big bold tie or, you know, shoes that stand out or a big rainbow t-shirt or, you know, anything like that. You know, there's not like a, a key thing other than, oh my God, that jumper's very bright. It's hurting my eyes. You know, that's... Do you, re- do you reckon that's like, like Shooty's thing will just be, he'll be known as the orange... Like the orange the doctor. Pure orange, well, it's going like, to be like, like, like Do- Dominic G. Martin's purple doctor. He's the orange doctor. He's the orange doctor. Well, I don't I know. That was going like, to be as- me, to be honest, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Well, I mean, I mean, like I'm Christopher Eccleston, under the cap. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Christopher Eccleston had his like uh, leather jacket. You know, mm. David Tennant probably the Converse might be his most iconic feature. Matt Smith the bow tie. Yeah, Capaldi. 
I don't know, what would you say? The it was a criticism cost- he had at the time, if you remember, when, when his costume was announced, his initial Series 8 one was the lack of yeah. something. There wasn't a tie, it was just a I remember that. shirt and a jacket. You know, there wasn't anything super unique to it, and that got people picking up on it at the time. I think mm. Capaldi's unique flair was having a different costume every week, because that's what it felt yeah, like by the I end of that. it. He had, he, had, he had hoodies. It was amazing. <laughs> But no, it's good. It's good. I do like Shooter's costume. I do like Shooter's costume, absolutely. But hopefully they accessorise. I'm sure they will. Yes. So, uh, should we talk about the filming pictures now? Because we're about 15, 20 minutes into recording. Yeah, let's that's, go. Let's go. You know, we're already... We're not keeping to time very well. But that's well, not, it's it's always what we, we do. do. It's what we always do. It's always what we do. Crispy had this big plan for Series 2. He was going to introduce loads of different things. He had a pitch. And it turns out his pitch was just using the software he gave up after that. So, it's and fair enough. It. He's, he's, he, he has done very well. Can we get a round of I've applause, Christy, please? Can we get a round of applause, you want a round of, You want a round of applause? You need to be quicker on the, you quicker on the mark with this, bro. <laughs> quicker on the mark with this. You weren't quick enough there. There you go. I tried. I You've got to be ready. What, what, how, just, I, give me, just give me a rough estimate. How many other sound effects are there that you haven't played? Uh, like there's, These are all the preloaded ones, but you can upload whatever you want. You can so. upload sounds. You can upload, we can, we can have whatever, we can have a, a Troy going, oh my god, type sound effect. Oh we can do whatever you want. Yeah, like, like oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> yeah, you know, we can, we can, like, I don't want us to be one of those podcasts that just, like, you know, has fart sound effects every three seconds, but. So, like a Crispy Pro video. Tasteful, like a Crispy Pro video, but tastefully used in a podcast. Yes. Um, you know. But that means it, we can it, upload, like, audio cues for, like, segments and stuff. Like, we that's could have a news I'm, audio cue, we could have a saying. discussion. That's what I'm saying. We're oh, that's building. so good. We're that's building so right now. It's very it's cool. an exciting time. Yeah, we could make like a remix. Could you get? Could you get on Sammy Chu and get him to make some more remixes for our for our podcast? Absolutely. Like different a- tracks. Absolutely. See if Sammy Chu can make some it. Sammy tunes. Sammy Chu. Oh, that should be the. Challenge. He must have used that at some point. Surely, please Maybe. tell me he has. I'll ask him. I'll ask him. Make some Sammy tunes. Um. Anyway, so very briefly, you want to just talk about some set photos. So, uh, we have on set in Cardiff this advertising campaign for Albion. And the caption is Bigger, Better, Bolder Britain. There is someone on there that you can vote for. And I believe I've seen the name somewhere, but it seems to have disappeared, which is very, very handy. Um, the actor, it says vote for G. William, or maybe it's Gwilliam. I don't know. Like, William, if, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Gwilliam who? Yeah, but they are, the guy who plays him is an actor from 1899, which is a recent Netflix show that, as as with all Netflix shows, got cancelled after one season. Um, yeah, I saw that. But here we go. His name is... Anurin Barnard? Hmm. An- Anurin Bar- Barnard? I don't know how I say it properly, um, but yeah, he was in 1899 and he is appearing as this Gwilliam fellow. Um, people have pointed out, by the way, I don't know if you've seen this, Crispy. Um, credit right. to at Pig in Tea Break, Jude over on Twitter. I'm going to send you this very quickly on... Uh, should I send it on Discord? We're not using Discord yes. now. Do I send it on Discord? No, you can send it. I've um, got Discord open. The symbol for Albion, for the campaign office, yeah. is very, very, very similar to the symbol that was on the gas mask the master wore in the sound of drums Saw could that. be convenient but it does it does look kind of the colors aren't quite in the right place but it's a similar kind of a and i mean i don't even think we ever knew where that symbol came from so maybe it was a throwaway thing and now russell's making it into a proper thing doesn't mean william is the master i highly doubt that um but it, it'd be interesting it'd be interesting to know what's yeah, going I, on i there. don't know i mean russell usually doesn't miss a trick miss a detail but maybe, well, it's, maybe fair, it's a homage. Yeah. He he did leave Doctor Who right before the uh, the Tories in the UK got elected, and uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, this, I, I let, let's just say without getting political, Russell is not a big fan of the Tories, and I feel like it's going to be a very big narrative of him as just like a little bit of bit of backstabbing and kind of like you know subtle notation stuff. He loves his political uh, comments and stuff. So absolutely, like like having the slogan "Bigger, Bolder, Better Britain" or "Bigger, Better, Bolder" whatever it is, like it's a Daft Punk single. Um, someone spotted a t-shirt that said bigger, better, bolder Britain on HMV and everyone was like, that can't be like an actual piece of merch, can it, surely? And it got taken down after someone spotted it. It was like a pre-order thing oh. that was on. It might have been a placeholder thing, but everyone was like, you can't just buy a t-shirt that says that. It looks like you're walking around like you're voting for a political party. Didn't even yeah. say Doctor Who on the t-shirt or anything. Yeah, no, so, that's funny. There's even a video that uh, Cad- Caddy, she said how to pronounce her name. I'm going to butcher it. Is it Davidge? Caddy Davidge, I've got I no really idea. hope I've not butchered that. But she sent us a video of inside the campaign office. Um, I don't know where she got it. Um, when, when, when I asked her how she sourced it, she replied with a gift from um, Faulty Towers that said, I know nothing, I am from Barcelona. So I have no yeah. idea where she got it from. Um, <laughs> your light has now died as well, that's very yeah, funny. It's oh, dead. Now, now you're ginger like me. Ugh. Ugh. Can, you, can you reboot the light? Is, let him plug the light in while I talk through the video. It's all good, everyone. Um, but yeah, there's a video that kind of goes around the campaign office. I will overlay it on screen now in the video version without sound. 
and I'll just talk over it because it's only 12 seconds. So we can easily run it over the screen. Uh, but you can see looking around in the campaign office what it looks like they're putting a lot of money into the set designs in here, you know, it looks, it looks good. It looks high quality. It looks pretty good. It looks like it had a, maybe a, a 10 million pound budget from Disney Plus for an episode. Who knows? I don't know. Wasn't, didn't, didn't they say something about that today? So that's not actually the case. But they are getting increased funding, but it's not 10 million. Did you hear uh, that? I hope not, because I really like the idea of 10 million. Anyway, moving on. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> there was one other thing that I wanted to share that I saw on, on, on Twitter. You know, Twitter. You know, the, the famous website Twitter. Um, Twitter. Credit from William Who, who shared this. Um, who, who shared an interview from Doctor Who magazine that came out today um, from Russell T. Davies. Mm-hmm. And uh, Jane Trancher, I believe her name is. Who, you know, Chris Frackleson yeah. named, <laughs> chose by name when he was talking about the people responsible for him being... Uh, uh, removed from Doctor Who and all this. Um, but someone said, uh, someone asked them, when did the rest of you get an inkling that Russell was going to take back over Doctor Who? And Jane said, I'd say I knew before that. I don't know when that is. I'm guessing before the announcement. And um, she said, Russell, do you remember you gave that really good speech at the BBC Writers' Room on 9th of December 2019? So before Series 12 had even aired. Um, and we were chatting backstage before you went on and you started to talk about Doctor Who in a different way. You said, quote, why wouldn't you do it like this and this, 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 unquote? As you were talking, I thought you were laying out this vision. I thought, is he trying to suggest? And you never said you were, but I'll always remember that as the moment I thought Russell T. Davies might do Doctor Who again. I don't know how, and I didn't know when, but that's when I knew. And Russell replied, Whoa. interesting. I think other people knew before I did. So, okay. people so have been kind of saying, you know, is, he talking about, is he talking about Jodie? Is he talking about Chibnall? Is he talking about how it's run? Considering this was after just Jodie's first series, mm. and I, this is after the point where we knew there was going to be over a year gap in between the episodes, I reckon he was talking more about the... the the release side of it, you know, them yeah, having probably. gear gaps in between, because that's very much not a Russell thing. And he, what's one of the no. first things he said now is that it's going to be yeah. annual series. No so gap probably that he was going, why are they doing shorter series? Why are they doing, you know, year gaps and all this stuff? Maybe it was all the kind of production side rather than Jody and Chibnall. Mm. But it's interesting that he kind of saw a thing there and in the back of his head, it already started ticking. I found that very yeah. interesting. So no, I, th- I think that I think that's very very good. But like literally, as you said, is the f- one of the first things he was like, "Yeah, no, we're not doing that." And I think he might have been annoyed because you don't do a gap year right after a doctor's first series. Exactly. You know. You know. You don't I do a gap Russell year at all. Actually, crispy. No, you don't actually correct. Do and that's why after Russell, when you are looking for a new showrunner, the crispy for showrunner sh- campaign is very much on board, and Troy will definitely be uh, like an executive producer or something. I thought like I was going to be the doctor. What's going on? You're a, a doctor and executive producer. You're starring and producing. Starring right. and directing. Deal. I like that. Bro. I like that. I like that. Very cool. cool. Very cool. Uh, cool so, Christy, explain the live slug reaction. All right. So, there's been a big slug. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Thanks, everyone. We're going to move on now. Thank it's the 60 Thank you, trailer. Um, no. Okay. So, re- filming within the last 24 hours, I believe, Troy, of time recording this. Um, they, well, I don't know what university it was, but they were filming at a university today. Um, and they tried very, very hard to disguise one of the monster props that they would be using. But, you know, knowing us Doctor Who fans will always get the shot. And <laughs> there is this really big it. old slug. There was yeah. this big old massive slug. Giant slug thing in the street in broad daylight. If they were trying to hide that, they weren't doing a very good job. i got to tell no. you that much. No, well, I remember someone, I like went, went through Twitter and had a look and they said, oh, they were really trying to cover this thing up. Like, really hide it, and then you someone, someone got the shot. You can't cover a slug. It's massive. But yeah, so, I, I don't know if it's part of the same filming for this political episode. Some people have suggested that this new political figure played by Gwilliam or whatever whatever his name is. I can't remember what the character yeah, is. Barnard. Um, it will, will turn into this slug. Maybe it's a commentary on all politicians being slugs. Slimy. You know, I don't know. There's oh, something there. No, it better be another Slitheen politician. I don't care. Use the same narrative, Ross. <laughs> I don't care. It does, it does but, work, yeah. though, because slugs are very slimy. And it's a word yeah, you could use for That's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It does work. It makes sense. But alas, but yes, we have to wait. But yes, we're about it because people do, like, you know, live something reaction when someone looks, like, really, like, caught out of context or bored or something. Like, I've had one made of me of live Troy reaction when I look very annoyed. And yeah. so I think it was George Shear was the first one to do it. Yeah. It was like live slug, live slug. reaction. Live slug. Just a picture of a slug. <laughs> Me- memes in 2022 don't require much understanding. In fact, it's often hard to understand them, but they're just funny. Mate. You know, just a picture of Walter White saying Mate. someone cooked here is now funny. I-, I don't know why it is, but it just is. Troy. What? It's not 2022, it's 2023 now. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? 
I can't Adam and Eve it, mate. I can't Adam I can't, and Eve it. Uh, live, live slug reaction this moment right now for Troy. The live New Year reaction. <laughs> live New Year reaction. Anyway. <laughs> right here. Uh, also, to mention very, very briefly, uh, it's been confirmed, or at least hinted by The Mirror, that Lost Doctor episodes are going to be brought back using cartoons to mark the sixth anniversary. That's the title. Basically, Keen. in Doctor Who fan terms, we're going to get more animations of Lost Doctor episodes, but they're going to be in colour. Which oh, I don't wow. think some of them have been, some of them haven't been. Mm. Um, there's been a bit of debate of, you know, should you make them in colour if they weren't in colour originally? I would say yes, because it's cooler. And if if you don't want that, I'm pretty sure there's a, a setting on your TV. Oh, that yeah, that's a good point. You make, you make your screen black and white. So, just turn your saturation right down, job done. Do we do we got to do? Thank you. Thank you. In fact, just use your, your computer in black and white permanently. It would never be a problem. Never. I'm going to do that right now. Uh, no, so there's a, there's a little bit of news. So we are now 33 minutes into recording, not into the full episode, but I think that's definitely enough time for us to go. Yeah. Crispy, what's, what's yeah. the main point of today's video? What's the main point oh, of today's mate. video? We got a little gift on Christmas. Well, Boxing Day for me. The Worldwide Premiere. We had the Worldwide Premiere. Shout out Dr. Master Ella, because she will be very happy that I did that, because all she did in the live chat was, was say, Say oh, really? Worldwide Premiere. Say Worldwide Premiere. Worldwide Premiere. So there you go, Ella. Um, I've said that for you. So, uh, as of a recording, this is 10 days old, which means we're a bit late, but, I mean, come on. But Troy... You were asleep, enough, so there's no excuse for I you. I was well asleep, but yeah. Troy covered it live on the channel. I think it's now the most popular video we've ever done, so well done no, to it's, Troy. And it's not... Is it? Troy, it is. Uh, like, I'm not not sure if it's beaten the no. Clever Dick episode, but I think I think it is the most popular, apart from no. our... Um, apart from our... Uh, what The review of Power of the Doctor, I don't think... But yeah, I think it's I think it's the most popular video on our channel. It is, which is yeah. So it's a testament to Troy because he, he said this to me. He's like, oh, it's nice because he's, it's nice because you weren't in it, crispy. No, it is nice that <laughs> Troy's getting. He can get the. He doesn't need me to get the views now. He is a YouTuber himself, and I think that's quite a nice initiative. I still, I still feel we're being called one because I haven't done much on Cosmic Vortex. It's mainly through the podcast, but I'm I'm happy. Well, I'm mate, very happy about you've that. Got, so. We've we've done bloody forty one episodes of this. You are a fully fledged you YouTuber like now. Enough. I'm glad that you all are, like at least enough. no, maybe not like me. At least tolerate me. Tolerant. That's. I mean, that's what we're about here. And yeah. who's there? You know, we're about tolerance here on Who's There at Doctor Who podcast. That's, that's what we're about. Um, so yeah, we thought the best thing to do would be for you to like have the trailer on your screen, pick out the things yeah. that you like. Because we've already had my breakdown on the live stream. If you haven't watched it, youtubecom slash Who's There at Doctor Who podcast. It's not actually there. It's youtubecom slash Who's There DW or at Who's There DW. They started doing these weird like at handle things on. Yeah, YouTube. I don't know what that's it's all about. It's odd. Um. Oh, yeah, no, oh, oh, wow, it literally is youtube.com slash C slash who's there, a Doctor Who podcast with caps for every letter, uh, every word. <laughs> That's far too long. Just youtube.com oh. slash at who's there, DW. Job done. Much easier. That's okay, us. Much easier. That's us. Thank you so much. Um, go watch the video and subscribe. We are at 1,256 subscribers. We've got about 1,250 by the end of the year. Heck when yeah. I said 1,000 would be a challenge, look at us go. Look at us. We're smashing, 2K smashing 2023. Goals. Yeah, that's or 3K a goal. 3K 2023. That would work better, but... Well, hey, we can make it happen. Can we make it um, happen? Can you, can you buy subs for us? No, don't no. do that. Anyone, any YouTubers out there that are thinking about it, don't you do You did that. it for your channel, didn't you? I did not do such yes, you things. Did. This is a harsh allegation. No, if you do that for your channel, from all reports I've heard, it will just destroy everything because you won't get any organic views. So just don't do that. You need organic views. Anyway, let's talk about this trailer that has a lot of organic views. Which has, yes. in the past 10 days, it's got 2.1 million views, which is great. That's crazy, It bro. was trending here in Australia, which was lovely. It was number one trending on YouTube. I came home and I was like, hey, everyone, um, there's a new Doctor Who trailer out there. Like, yeah, we know we've seen it. And I could not have been prouder. Could not <gasps> have been prouder. I know. It's reached mainstream. <laughs> um, that's, what, that's the power of David Tennant. Like it or not, that's what he does. I know, I know. He gets he gets the views. He gets them up. So, okay, the trailer starts off beautiful, beautiful shot of London. I would love to know what kind of drone they use for that, because that is stunning. Um, the crispy there's drone. There's a lot... It, oh, crispy drone, crispy prone. Um, mm. But... Uh, there are a lot of similar shots here that we saw in the initial teaser at the end of Power of the Doctor. So I th this is kind of more of an extended version of that, wouldn't you say, Troy? Oh, and that's all he's got to say about it because it's all reused. Thank you very much for listening, everybody. Thank you, uh everyone. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> but what do you say? It's four times the length. There's a lot of reused. Yeah, shots no, I know, but it's like extended. I know. You yeah, know? I know. I know. I, I suppose I understand. You suppose you understand. Um, mm. So we get our first proper look at um, Yasmin Finney who's playing Rose. 
mm-hmm. which is very, very exciting. I wish that they gave Yasmin Finney some dialogue in the trailer, but they're probably saving that for they you did. Know, a trailer that... There's no dialogue from Yasmin Finney in the trailer. There's one. There's one bit. She says, who are they? And Beat the Meep oh, goes, really? monsters. Oh, right. With... Um, Miriam Margulies. Beepus, Beepus the Meepus. That was my, that was my prediction. And I, I, I said on the video, I was like, that isn't Miriam Margulies. And listen back, I'm like, no, I think that is. Because she, she's, she's a character actor. She can make yeah. voices. I, re- I think I that reckon. is her. 100% right. Mm. Right? I'm is she in the it. suit, though? Well, she is. <laughs> <laughs> Anything I say there would sound really mean, but like you know, she's short enough that she might be able to fit in a costume like yeah, that. Yeah, maybe. But Beat the Meat looked smaller than like even Miriam is. I don't think so. Mm. It'd be funny mm. if she was just like walking about in the, on the street oh, well, that, in a Beat the, like, the Meat costume. There was a there was a physical costume of it, and obviously they've done some CGI over the top, very mm. much so. I don't think it's a fully fully CGI character. Um, but anyway. So, we started off, it looks absolutely stunning. I think we see Beep the Meep's ship there at the start. Right. Possibly. Possibly. What we're implying. I mean, we know nothing of this story, really. Nothing at all. Bip the ship. Bip the ship. Nice. Very nice, Troy. Mm-hmm. Um, we get a lot of dialogue from Donna saying, I, I had something amazing in my life, but now it's gone. Where'd it go? Well, stay with And the Sylvia bay. looking great with white hair. Let me tell you, she looking good. Yeah. Silver Fox. Silver Fox. Indeed. There's a couple of them <laughs> in the noble family. Her and Sean. That's what I said about Sean as well. I was like, like he looked like he has aged a little bit, but he like, like he's yeah. aged gracefully. Like his, he's got a bit of grey hair going, but he looks good as well. You know. Whereas Catherine Tate, she doesn't even look. She's he does aged look that very much, good. I don't feel like. Does Catherine Tate look like she's aged much to you? I don't. I don't think she has. Not at all. Not at all. No. Um, but anyway, we get some more looks at David Tennant. They have a lovely, a beautiful hug together, which is nice. Aww. So obviously. Obviously, I, in the first episode, somehow they're going to explain Donna's memory loss thing. How how it can all come together, right? But if they she ever remember, remembers her, episode. him, she will die, Crispy. She will die. Correct. So maybe Donna is dead from their first maybe episode. Donna's Wouldn't ghost. That I didn't be say nice? that as a joke, didn't I? Like it was part of the doctor, and you were like, "Oh my god!" And I was like, "Well, you know, it's I grim." It was actually the ghost of Donna Noble. It's a grim thought. Would I put it past Russell T Davis? Dead or noble? No. Oh, Troy. Troy, that's rough, mate. That's it rough. Is. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Move, on. Move on. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, everyone. All right, let's, let's crush this trailer. Let's crush this trailer. Yada, yada. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. trailing it's off stunning. here, aren't we, Crispy? Yeah, we are. We are, mate. Don't we press are. it again. Don't press I'm it again. I'm not going to. Oh, <laughs> okay, it's good. far too late now. It's far too late now. Uh, but we get, we get quite an extended look at the... Uh, where where is that filming done where, with um, Neil Patrick Harris? Do you know Bristol. where that was? Bristol. I feel like that they showed us a lot of that because they know the fans have seen a lot of that in person. There's been a lot of filming pictures. It was very heavily um, like captured. N- the news got a hold of it, so they showed us quite a bit of that, which looks great. I think it's awesome and like a lot of the practice. I was stuff very glad to phenomenal. get such a worldwide premiere of that. A worldwide premiere. Yeah. Um, we didn't get that much of. Neil Patrick in this trailer as I would have liked. No. Personally. There was Barney any of him. him. No, it didn't really work. I was trying to say barely no. any of him, but you know, it didn't. Barney any of him. <laughs> yeah, I tried. That wasn't too uh, bad. That wasn't too bad. Wah, 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 wah. That wasn't a sound effect. Is that effect. because you haven't that got was... the sound effect uploaded yet? I don't have, I don't have any sound effects for that, sorry. you got you got to get um, some Crispy Pro sound effects. The, the smack, the whoosh, you know, all that stuff. The the vine boom. <laughs> yeah, oh, you need. we need boom. the vine thought in this. Boom. Oh, that'd be so good. <laughs> <laughs> Crispy Neil Patrick Harris is in Doctor Who. Dun! That'd be great. Oh my god. Oh um, my god. Okay. Okay. So Troy, Troy, yes. Troy, Troy. Right after old mate says worldwide premiere, we get a first look at some monsters. Um, monsters. We obviously see Beep the Meep, and I think the character design is incredible. I think it looks great. All of my housemates are like, oh, that thing looks so cute. Nah, uh, Beep the Meep is a villain. A villainous creature. Are you sure? Oh, absolutely. I'm not... I don't, I don't trust those eyes for a second. Troy? Uh, beep the Meep sweep, mate. Beep the Meep sweep. <laughs> beep the Meep sweep. Absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's the new campaign. Forget Morbius sweep. Morbius was so last year. Now we've no. got Beep the Meep sweep. It's Beep the Meep sweep. Beep the Meep sweep. Beep the Meep sweep. But what, what do you think? What do you think, Troy? I think that... Beep is the Meepers. Beep the Beep. The Beep the Meep is going to sweep and is not a creep. Wow. Uh, but they will reap the rewards of something. 
I'm trying to think of right. Uh, they'll be, they'll be, like Adele will be rolling in the deep. Be, beat the oh meat, roll in the deep. Goodness. Oh my You're goodness. You're letting me do this. Stop me at any point. It's too much. It's too much. If you had okay, a car, well, you'd be driving a Jeep. Like, I'd, like, you need to stop me. I can't. I, I'm shocked. That's actually taken it out of me, Troy. That entire Eep rhyming really scheme. To seep into the podcast. All right. Okay, so we see Beep the Meep, but then we <laughs> see the... you weep. <laughs> it is... It is... <laughs> For God's sake. Okay, I think I'm out now. I think I'm out of them. Is, I think I'm out of them. You need some water? You need a drink? No, I'm good. All right, that's fine. Just checking. Just checking in, mate. Just checking in. So, Troy. Crispy. There are these other monsters in there. You see them with the big glowing eye? These little pre mantis the, the looking Wraith fellas? The Wraith or Wrath Warriors? I don't know how it's the, spelled because people have been spelling it differently. Either the Wraith Warriors or the Wrath Warriors. I think they are the Wraith, but I don't know. I swear I've seen someone talk about them, but there is a Beep the Meep comic that Troy and I need to get our hands on. But well, I don't know if I want to, if it's an adaptation. Because I thought it was a continuation, but according to the, the chat, it might be an adaptation. So, Oh, is that what the chat reckons? Mm. Oh, That's well, what well, the chat well. reckoned on Christmas Day. So Damn. maybe they were lying to us, but I don't think they were. I don't know. I don't know. But mm. anyway, they're, they're kind of like Jadoon in a sense. They're like intergalactic police, from what I've heard. Yeah. Yeah, did you from put what I've heard. by that lagoon? Oh, no. I've, I've set him off again. I've set him off again, everyone. Just be careful. Hunting down some baboons. Baboons. With a um, harpoon. No, mate. Too soon. Um, oh! Oh, it's brilliant! And we're using Riverside instead of Zoom! Oh! There you go. Thanks, guys. This, this is, is exactly why you Thank you, everyone, for listening podcast. to Who's There, a Doctor Who podcast. We really appreciate it. We really appreciate it. Oh. Um, okay, so, yeah. Yada, 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 you yada. You know what's really yada. funny about this, I realise? You told me that Riverside gets a transcript of what we say. Correct. It's going to be I so would, funny reading this back. I would love to see what it reckons we said there. Yeah, what, what is Beep the Meep? They're like, what, what is that? What is a Beep the Meep? Um, what else is in this trailer? A lot of the stuff we have seen before... Can you tell uh, he's not and then got they... much to say about it, everyone? Sorry? <laughs> I'm joking, no. So he says he hasn't got much to say about it. <laughs> well, I think I think it's stunning. I'm just going through the trailer right now. Um, and I think it looks really, really good. I think a lot of this is from episode one, which I think is confirmed oh, to be... Oh, very much so, yeah. I think it is confirmed to be directed by Rachel Talalay. How do you well, say Well, she Talalay? put up a picture on Instagram of, of like a mm. giant brick wall with a hole in it, or like with, like with outlines yeah, of a hole right. in it. And it, that looks very much like a, a wall that David Tennant jumps through at one point in, early in the trailer. Did you did you see the caption that um, Rachel put with that? No. Well, I, I did, but I don't remember it. She said, this is one of the coolest things I've filmed in my career. Like, one of the, one of the best things I've filmed in my career. This scene. And it was all that. talking to the brick wall. Talk, wow. 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 I need really, more sound I'm effects. For, I, need, I need a vine boom for that. <laughs> for that one right there. My it's easy to go and like, just download a Vine Boom right now and yeah. upload it. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I'm, I'm very excited for whatever that scene turns out to be. I think we yes. do see a little bit of David Tennant jumping through a wall. Maybe it's maybe it's like my prediction right now, early prediction high, um, is one. Uh, it's going to be one long take. One long take and the scene's going to end with him going into that building. That's my, that's my guess. It's my guess. It's a nice guess, but considering what she shared on in Instagram, it was just a wall with a, gr- a blue, green screen, blue screen around the rest of it. I don't know how long of a one take you could do in a... That's a very valid point. Moving Sorry, on. Sorry, I hate to burst your bubble because that is a really... That is a great I forgot, idea, I but I... Yeah. yeah no, you're, I, I, you're absolutely I, right. I'm sorry. But anyway, I'm sorry there. No, it's I'm sorry. Right, right. I'm so, it's so right. sorry. Yeah, I'll, you keep me in check, and that's why I appreciate it. Well, no, it. We've, got, we've got to make David Tennant quotes now because he's clearly going to be like the 10th Doctor because he literally went Alonzi. So yeah, he said he said the Alan Z in there, and there was I made a video on my channel where we were talking about is the tenth Doctor going to be just like the fourteenth Doctor again? And I think it. I mean, no, oh, is the fourteenth Doctor just going to be like the tenth? I was going to say, but I was like, yeah. I might let that slide that you could go <laughs> no, the wrong way around. No, but no, it's no. Fine. Um, and I think that's very much going to be the case, which is good on one end because hip hip hooray, we get to see David Tennant do what he does best again. But I would have liked to have seen maybe a slight, slightly you know, different performance from him. Not too far off. And we, heck, we might still get that. We might still um, get that. I think we will. You think we I will? Think it'll, it'll have, I think it will have echoes of the 10th Doctor, but it'll do at least something different. Hey, I want I want uh, the 14th Doctor to mention, like, Amy, Rory, Clara. Yeah, any, I anything. I no. <laughs> any, I, I, want the, I want it to just be purely explicit. Um, but then we have one of, like, a laugh out loud moment for me was when um, Donna spots David and Sylvia's trying to hide him. 
write that? Yes. No, you can't. You can't. There is some controversy around that. I don't know if you want to talk about that, Troy. We could address it briefly because it's briefly. Ugh. He says skinny man, which is something that they have said previously. They have literally you know, some, done so uh, many times already. But- and I, I, I like it's not a surprise. To me, uh, I mean, you know... What, that there's, I don't that there's controversy I don't really over it, or that, that she said it? <laughs> or both? Both, mate. I, I don't know. I know. It, it's it's hard. There's always going to be controversy with Doctor Who. There's controversy for get... everything, especially on Doctor Who Twitter. I'm not, yeah. I'm not saying that to devalue the argument. No, but absolutely like, not. But for everything that ever happens in Doctor Who, someone's going to be annoyed about it. There will That's be a the nature of being on Doctor Who Twitter. Like, I, I get... I get the idea. Obviously, people are like, "Oh, it's it's like kind of you know, it's it's kind of inverse fat phobic, whatever." But like, as far as I'm concerned, if David is okay with it, and the joke's been yeah. made to his expense enough times that I feel like he's a grown up man who could say it if he had a problem. Not to exactly. mention, it is a running joke and a callback to what David and Donna did before. Exactly. You know, he is too skinny for words. You give him a hug, you get a paper cut, or mm. so skinny that is proper skinny. I've never seen it from the outside before. It's like a special effect or a matchstick man, like. Again, I have all these quotes just Again, hanging out of my brain. But, Troy's very good with that. Like, just, it's a it's a running thing. And if David doesn't have a problem with it, then it's okay to kind of be like, mm, I can get that people might not like it, and that's fair, but I wouldn't then kind of be jumping at Russell going, why have you put that in? Because if everyone exactly. is okay with it on the show, not everyone's going to like every single line that comes out. I get the criticism. I'm personally not bothered yeah. by it, but I guess it's all about perspective, right? It is. It is absolutely about even stupid. So. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. So like, if vegans if you are, are all right, uh, yeah. No. <laughs> if if you if you if if you if you are offended by it, that that's that is absolutely fine. But I feel like, as we've yeah. said, like it's a it's a pre-established thing. And David Tennant is very much a, a grown up. And I feel like you know he's he's a lead man. If he if he had a problem with it, he would have said something back in you know 2006, whatever. But yeah, I don't know. Whatever, whatever. We moved on. We addressed it. I hope you're all exactly. Happy. And he wears a non-binary pin badge a lot of the time because one of his kids is non-binary. I don't know if you knew that, but I've seen really? people pointing that out. Yeah, one of one of their one of they their kids is non-binary and he wears a non-binary oh, pin badge a lot. So does Georgia. Yeah, so really? they're both icons basically. Well, I knew point. that because David Tennant is my dad. So there you go. Are you the non-binary child? <laughs> no, I'm the timeless child, mate. But that's a separate story. Um. All right. Troy, you my should boy. have like Doctor Who quotes in the in the soundboard. Yeah, I Troy, there's so many possibilities, mate. Oh my, oh my, oh my, I'm so excited by what you could do here. I know, but we can't I hope overuse you've got, like, 30 it. Thirty things uploaded Troy, by next we week. We can't, we can't overuse it. We need to use it tastefully, or else people are gonna not like it. People are gonna tune off. They're gonna think we're just a, a clip show, and we're not that. We're not that. We're special. It doesn't make. Hang on, how are we gonna live stream though? We won't have the sound effects if we live stream. There is live stream capabilities on this. Would you believe? No way. Yes, why? But that's a story for another day, my friends. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing the Screaming Lady portrait right now with, with Sasha Dewan. Also, I saw oh someone gosh. tweet that. Did you realise that? I, I never noticed this. I can't remember who tweeted it. I'm very sorry. But someone tweeted and said they realised the reason he put his face on all those paintings was it was like a precursor warning because he was going to put his face into the Doctor's body. So that's why he put his face oh. into all the other people in those paintings because it was a, like a prelude to him doing that with Jodie. I would never have picked that, but I can Neither respect would that. I, but that is like, I get it now, and I'm yeah. like, ah, now it suddenly ah, makes more sense. I, I see what you're doing there, Chibnall. It's the power I see of the master. what you're doing. It's the damn power of the master right there. Bring uh, back okay, Troy, just to finish yes. off this trailer, there are some stunning shots um, where it looks like a, a battle is taking place between Unit and these Wraith warriors. Um, mm-hmm. It looks great. looks absolutely stunning. I hope there is quite a bit of Unit, as we discussed in a previous episode, I think it was the last episode, maybe Unit Helipad confirmed everyone. So I think I, I think that deserves, that deserves a round of applause right there. Unit Helipad is back for action, absolutely back for action. You won't use it for terrible jokes, but you'll round of you'll give a round of applause to a helipad. I look, mate. I am so excited for the Unit Helipad scene. You have no idea. That's the whole reason I'm tuning into the 60th. Whole reason. You have, to, you have to realize, ladies and gentlemen, I don't have any control over the sound effects. He tried to give them to me, <laughs> like as a producer thing, but even as a producer, I can't hit the sound effects, and I'm not in the recording of a producer for some reason. Um, so I literally, like, the only person in control of the sounds is Crispy Prab. He, he's the only person who can do, make any sounds over this podcast, and that worries me because I've seen when he yeah. does when he takes cl- clips of the podcast and puts them on Crispy Pro. He'll slap noises and stuff over them. He'll put filters on them. He'll do whatever he wants, and it's concerning. Don't I worry, am man. scared. About the Don't amount worry, of power mate. this guy has now. It's the power of the Doctor. Or no, should I not. say the timeless It's the power child, of mate. the podcaster. 
the power of the podcast with a plan with patience, my boy. Oh, he's even remembered that. Yeah. Podcast with a plan with patience that's to the point. Yeah, that's right. That's good. Merch coming soon. <laughs> yeah, we, we merch store 2023. Tell you now. Merch yeah, store. Come absolutely. Come absolutely. Get um, ready. Troy. And then yes. uh, the, the trailer pretty much... And I think there was a new cast member added. Do you remember her name? She appears like... Ruth like Madeline point. playing Shirley Ann Bingham. Have you seen any of Ruth's previous performances before? I've seen her I know, in I years I think she was in Years, years and Years. Yeah, I've I never seen I Years never and finished, Years. And I should. Which is really annoying. And I'm saying this in the podcast, and we'll listen to it and go, yeah, because it's another show. There's a few shows we never finished watching, because I, I struggle oh, no. to have time at the minute to watch a lot of shows like continuously. It keeps going to be about Andor, because we stopped watching Andor to watch The Walking Dead then finished mm. The Walking Dead and then didn't go back to Andor. She keeps going, we're going to watch it, so we're going to watch that every week. But the big oh, thing for good. us at the minute is, uh, uh, is uh, Last of Us, because oh. I've got to mention that. Oh, It's oh. around the corner, mate. It's around I the corner. I am so excited for that. You have no idea. I'm so are excited. You, are you buzzing? Are you buzzing I'm, for I'm it? I'm proper buzzing, la. I'm proper yeah. buzzing. Yeah, nice. I'm proper buzzing. Um, so what else? what else has Ruth Madley been in? I was looking on her Twitter and it doesn't say. It says that she is a cappuccino lover, a converse wearer, and a bourbon drinker. It doesn't say what she's been in. Um, so if that doesn't convince you that exactly. this is a good choice, absolutely. But she, she's been in some Big Finish stuff for Doc 2 already. I yeah, can't that's right. With. Um, but I think, I think some people were annoyed Doctor. because... I think some people were annoyed because I think this role will kind of make that non-canon, which is annoying because there's always that argument, is Big Finish canon, is it not? The answer so. is no. Moving on. Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> Clip that, what, mark that. It's what, no, it's what we've always said, right? If you're not marking that up. Oh, yeah, there's going to be a running bit now. On the recording, we can hit the mark clip button. And basically, like, that'll uh, signify to Crispy if he wants to, like, take something out for a short. And if he's been doing yeah. it through this episode. Have you done it at all, Crispy? I've done it five times. Oh, wow. Well, we're going to do one right now because I've got one that I'm going to make, or one of us is going to make into a proper video on this podcast channel because okay. it is a debate question that I've got okay. for you. And it's a good no. way to wrap up this episode. Hit me with it. So, Crispy, yeah, I mate. have a question for you. Oh. And this question is relative to the recent Doctor Who 60th anniversary worldwide premiere. Can I give you a drum roll for the question? Give me a drum roll. Do it. All give right. me a drum here roll. We go. Here we go. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hold on. Whoa. I need to find it first. Hang on. Here okay, we go. that's here we go. great. This is all in the video. There you go. Do you think the trailer came out too soon? <gasps> Yes, <laughs> I really. Do. I, th- I do. I understand it. I understand. It. I feel like Russell was so sad that this was the first year in seventeen years or something like that. Something yep. silly for for New Who that we didn't get a Christmas special or a festive special. Um, and so I feel like Russell and it felt like we needed to do something. And with the resources they had, I don't know what they were going to do. I think maybe they could have saved. Shooty's costume reveal until then, but they did have some outdoor filming with Shooty. Even though we haven't seen him in costume outdoors, I think there was a risk of that. So I understand the move. Um, but yeah, I probably would have preferred like a Shooty costume reveal then. I don't know. What about you, Troy? What do you think? I I think the advantage that we've got is that I think most of the footage has been taken from episode one so far. And there are, there's also stuff that we've seen being filmed in Bristol that has not been shown in the trailer. People running through the streets, we saw a bit off through David Tennant doing the turnaround, but there's literally a bit where he runs up to Neil Patrick Harris and they dance together, then he walks off. Yeah. In like stopping in front of cars and stuff. There are there's plenty of other bits that I think we've seen filmed publicly that did not show up in the trailer. So not True. only is there more opportunity for more stuff to show up later, but also they could probably show us stuff from episodes two and three that also isn't super spoiler heavy. They've probably got a lot up their sleeve they still haven't shown via mm. trailers. And as David Tennant said, you know, what they filmed in public is just a small piece of what's to come. So even beyond what they could share, there's so much more to those episodes. So I honestly, in a way, I'm like, well, it does obviously feel like a huge juxtaposition because we had everyone moaning about the power of the Doctor trailer being like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Towards the end, very validly, because it came out like, what, two and a half weeks before the episode aired? It was stupid. (laughs) It came out far too late. Yeah. Like I was, you, I kept saying to you, I think a month, two months before, even two months by a bit of push, but at least a solid month before to start building up hype would be a good shout. Yeah, exactly. They, yeah, they, it was a two they week push. That. You know, it's not like a Marvel film. They put a trailer out three months before and then one more month before and they say tickets available now. Like, you could just do the, the later one. You know what I mean? But what are they doing with that man Because the new Ant-Man trailer comes out on the 9th. That's exciting. So Ooh. I'm very excited for that film. Ooh. Yeah. Um, but I just... I don't think it was too early in that sense because I feel like obviously as you've you know you've made a point that there's quite a lot of reuse shots or extended shots from the original yeah. trailer and a lot of what they've added there's extra little bits and things and extra little character shots and things but they don't really tell you much more about what's going on beyond there being beat the meep and the wraith warriors or the wrath warriors or whatever you call them and they might not be that key to the plot 
it could be a bit like, you know, the train segment sequence on Power of the Doctor. You know, there were loads of shots of that from, like, the space oh, true, 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 true. in the first ten minutes. Mm. It could well be the Beep the Meep isn't there for the whole three episodes and there's something grander and it's more to do with Neil Patrick Harris. So True. It could be what they've showed us, while it is exciting and it is definitely brilliant and enough to get people interested, it's just the tip of the iceberg. So they, no, they have 100%, 100%. got the richer stuff saved for when they probably oh. market it later this year. No so doubt. I would no say doubt. it wasn't too early and it was a nice bonus trailer as a Christmas treat because we weren't okay. getting an episode. What That's do you fair think? Enough. No, no, no. I, 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 I like your, I like your point there. I have now right. changed like my opinion point. fully. He says. <laughs> I don't think I've. I think I would have been fine without it. And as I said, like they've only added a few extra things. So yeah, I suppose it was a nice little Christmas. I'm grateful. First of all, I'm we grateful. We got David Tennant for Christmas. Come on. Yeah. Well, I mean, I get that every year because he is my dad. But that's beside the point. And that's in the podcast video now. That's great. Woohoo! Thank you very That's much. Great. Thank That's you very great. much. But no, I, I'm I'm indifferent. I'm indifferent. I know we'll get another trailer maybe in what? When do you reckon? June, July? Uh, ooh. Well, I mean, they keep reinforcing November now. There was a period where they weren't saying November again. And everyone was like, does it mean it's coming sooner? No, it's November. Yeah, no, so, it has to be November. I, yeah, I wonder, like, will they actually do a bit of, like, Marvel-style marketing? Maybe they will. I mean, if they're going to be on Disney+, Plus, because I think it, it is the 60th anniversary that's starting on Disney+, Plus, right? It is David Tennant's episodes. Yes. Yeah, so, they will. They will debut on Disney Plus. They could do it. They've done it before with like even like the Bad Batch. That's a good example. That show's just come, started back out again with series mm. two. They had an initial trailer that came out months before, and then one that came out closer. If they want to do more Disney Plus style marketing, they could do a bit more Marvel stuff now, where it's like a trailer a few months before and then another one. It depends. Yeah. Um. So actually, it's a good question. I wonder if we might get one more yet around the summertime when the weather is high or whatever the song, however the lyrics go. Um, oh <laughs> in the summertime when the weather is fine um, so I think we might get one then maybe July August as you said probably mm. Augustish, because even then that's three months before and then one in the lead up late September early October I reckon we get another one and type it up Yeah, I think I think this time around the marketing is going to make up a lot I mean if you're literally releasing a trailer 11 months before it's clear yeah, they are absolutely. amending the mistakes of Jody's era with a marketing standpoint because there just wasn't enough mm. No matter what no. you say, no matter how big of a fan yeah. of Jody you are or not, the marketing was atrocious for Jody's era. Yeah, yeah, it just was. No, and that's they, just definitely, they definitely could have done definitely. Sorry, could BBC. have done things differently. We love you, but you could you could have done better. You could have done better. Are they watching right now? Are they watching? Well, if they are, oh, yeah. they're watching this special highlight of Who's There Doctor podcast. So make All sure right. you subscribe Hi, down everyone. below and leave a comment. Do you think the trailer came out too soon? Let us know. Troy. And there you go. That's... Taking, taking the role of Hootube a very easy, like, yeah, right in you your go, stride there. You go. there. And that, that's our video clip. We can make into a special clip now for Who's There Doctor Who podcast. I can, I can easy edit clip that. It. You know, it's great. Mark it's great. Mark it. Well, that does apply to the general podcast listeners as well. And I think that is going to be this week's poll. Do you Beautiful. think the 60th anniversary trailer came out too soon? And we'll also, do you know what? To mix it up, we're going to make it the Q&A as well. Okay. We're going to make it the Q&A. Nice. So we're going to nice. combine the poll and the Q&A this time. You leave a vote and then you do your reasoning in the Q&A. I think that's a good we're idea. Link it for the first that's time a ever. Good on idea. Who's there? A Doc Two podcast. We're combining the poll and the Q and A. Wow. It's it's a it's a day for new What's things. What's next? What's next? New to recording this software, a new crispy camera, a new poll and Q and A combination. It's a new season. A new outlook on life right now. My I've goodness, got Troy. New underpants on. I haven't. But it's exciting. Like, oh, oh, oh wow! Well. You ruined the new underpants. trend there. Got qu- I'm wearing question mark underpants. Yeah, I've got question mark. Where are the question marks? Yeah, yeah nice. You don't want to know, you don't want to know, <laughs> Dallas. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice little Payus Deus reference there. Payus Deus, very good. You love. Very are you ever going to play Payday Two with me? Maybe one day. Actually, actually, should we get Crispy to play Payday Two with me on the Who's There Doc Two podcast channel? Oh, who's there? Do it on do it on your channel. We did mate. Fall Guys though. We could mod Doc Two. There's Doc Two masks in Payday. Well, there is one Doc Two mask. There's a Cyberman mask. All right, that's all I need. Yeah, that'll mm. do. That's a, that's yeah. easy enough. And there's a very non copyright style um, description of it about upgrading or something or like. Oh, because cool. like, they, they don't actually reference the show something about yeah, like you yeah, know yeah. being like the best version or something, and it's like oh, yeah, yeah. very nice, nicely nice. done, nice. So uh, I'll have to figure out how you get the mask, and I'll, I'll send it your way. Uh, it might be much. in the big gamer base, but if not, I've got I've got connections. I've got codes. You do what you got to do, mate. I give what you, you codes. I give you codes. That's what I do for my friends. I'm nice. Thank you. you. Know? Thank you so but, yeah. much. So um, actually, I don't think the mic was picking me up then. At one point, <gasps> I was hearing I went, you. I went, I went really close, and I don't I don't know if I don't know if it picked me up. Uh, it's coloring on my end. Oh, you're coloring Ooh. in. You're doing some Crayola. I would love to do some Crayola right now. Oh, that's but great. I can't do a, a podcast with my friend you Troy. Can't. You can't. I don't actually know how long we've been recording for. It's been an hour this recording, but I think we didn't start from the ten minutes. So have we? Uh, that's all right. We can we wrap it up a bit early. We, we can wrap it up. Early. I feel like it's we haven't right? said enough about the trailer, though, mate. You know, I don't know if you've well, said I enough. Well, I don't. I don't know what else. What else to say? What else to say? 
I, you, this, this is the top comment on it. You ready? Go on. This is how you do fan service. I haven't been excited for Doctor Who in years, and this is bringing me back. I cannot wait. Wow. It's almost like that, that, that was the idea of these 60th specials. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. Not exactly, but it's definitely a, a silver lining. Not but a silver lining. But it is exactly the idea of the specials. There's, there's no... Like, like people have been saying this, you know, they brought back David just to try and bring in the general audience. Some people are annoyed by that, but whether you like it or not, move. general audiences have tuned out of Doctor Who over the years. Like, mm. General audiences have begun to give up on the show. It's only us, it's us hardcore truth. people living in our mother's basements with not much to do. I'm joking, no. But it, like, it is only, like, <laughs> us, us hardcore fans that have stuck with it through even, like, Jodie's era. A lot of people have, mm. sh- have, have shedded off of even Jodie's and not let alone Capaldi or Matt. And you always have that conversation with people where they say, you know, I watched the David Tennant years. I mean, that was on the John Bishop show. I don't know if you saw that at Christmas that Mandip Gill was on. Yeah, One yeah, of the exactly. guests on there, she was like, you know, I, we watched it during the David Tennant years and Mandip made a joke saying ours was better. And everyone on Twitter talked that as being serious and had a moan about it. This is why you oh, don't take Doctor Who Twitter very seriously. Because no, most of the time, that's it's That's number pathetic. one rule, folks. Number yeah. one rule. Don't take Doctor Who Twitter seriously. Some of it is very valid criticism. Yeah. But some of it is just ridiculous i nearly swore there i know it's, it's, it's something <laughs> stupid like I, I nearly just went completely off the record there but yeah but no so like saw so me that point even on that 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 show they were saying you know we watched it during the david tennant years and over you talk to someone like a friend or someone on the street if you were to walk up to someone on the street and say do you watch doctor who which you wouldn't do but if you did they might go you know i watched it during the oh, david yeah, tennant watch- years hmm. saw a bit of matt smith maybe the chances of someone like ge- a general audience member saying oh i watched peter capaldi or oh, i watched jodie whittaker beyond yeah. i tuned in for the odd episode to see what they were like You've not got a good chance of them saying they watched all of it, and the viewing figures re- truth. represent that. And yeah. as, as we've we've said before, the viewing figures have changed. The TV landscape has changed, definitely. But like, the viewing figures are still something people look at because they're still an interesting metric, whether or not mm. they represent the same way or not previously. Correct. Um, and like, whether you like it or not, Jody did get less attention. Capaldi got less attention. There was still enough that it didn't matter. People made it out to yeah. be a bigger thing than it is. But it's going to be interesting to see those viewing figures go back up. When David Tennant's on the screen. Well, that's, like well, that's the started. assumption. Well, that's the assumption. But you remember back in the day when um, we were like, wow, you know, Doctor Who is getting more views than like WandaVision and Hawkeye and the rest of it. You remember that? I still, I, I, I honestly, don't believe I know that. Fact. I don't believe that. I, I don't believe it because the, the Twitter rubbish. conversation around, you know, your WandaVision, your Hawkeyes, whatever, Winter Soldiers, um, that like, that was huge. So much buzz. So much buzz, but that not might necessarily translate into Maybe viewership and everything. It. It could be that. Who knows? And that's another thing, you know, with D- Doctor Who being exclusively to streaming here, um, some people might not want to pay that, and that will open the world up to, um, you know, the poten- the possibility that people want to pirate the show. So, I don't know. Yar, har, fiddly, gee, do what you want, because a pirate is free. Um, yeah. I don't endorse pirating them. I'm not a big no, fan of that. nor personally. do I. I, I get, I get, get thinking about mate. it, and I'm like, I'm a big wuss. I go, I don't want to pirate things. <laughs> well, it's never, never the same quality. You're better off getting the Blu-ray, mate, even though I never yeah, you always buy the DVDs. Oh, you bought Doctor Who Flux on DVD. I got something. I got something. What? Hang on, this could be how we end it. This is a, a surprise reveal. My final thoughts or whatever. I've got okay, something really cool. Don't wake your producer up. I like how we're still calling her your producer. It's literally just his girlfriend's asleep behind him. That's all it is. She's just having a nap. Um, he's walked off screen. So I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you for a second, folks. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed season two, episode one of Who's There Doctor Who podcast. It's been a very interesting time to get set back up using new software and everything. It's it's intriguing. Don't forget the polling Q&A for Spotify listeners on YouTube. Let us know what you think about the trailer coming out too soon. Do you think it came out too soon? Let us know. Um, I just realized as well, I'm going to tell him this when he comes back, we haven't decided what we're doing next week. We probably should do that because otherwise, well, then again, normally the next, the Q&A is based on what the next episode would be, isn't it? That's why we never normally do the polling Q&A together. I'm realizing things. 41 episodes deep into the podcast. That's stupid of me. It's very stupid I'm of back. me. Have you found the thing? Tell, t- show yeah. us the thing and then I'll tell you why we've been stupid. Oh, why have we been stupid? Oh, hang on, whatever. Show us the thing first. Show us you the ready? thing. It finally <laughs> arrived. Hello. Doctor Who am I on DVD? Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry, I don't, have, I don't have a compatible Blu-ray player. You so I got on the DVD. You need to get a gaming console. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. That's just me. You should come over to my house and play Last of Us Part 2 on PS5. No. No. I'm going to spend my money on podcasting software. Thank you very much. I wonder how many people are annoyed if I said Last of Us Part 2 is a good game and possibly better than the first one. Anyway, so um, we're going to move on. Yeah, I just realised, Crispy, we haven't decided what we're doing next week. And that's, that's normally right. why the poll and Q&A are different, because the poll is based on what we talk about that week, and the Q&A is prepped for next week. That's, that's why fine. we never normally combine them. We're that's idiots. That's fine. Nah, oh, next it's week. It's fine. It's going to be a total mystery. Ooh. Ooh. Is it looking back on Series 7? Yeah, let's do that.
No. Oh, actually, it might, we might need another week between that. Let's have a little. Let's have a gander. Let's have a gander because we only have three or four episodes in between our looking backs. When when was our last looking? This back? is entertainment, everyone. Us We're doing this live, podcast. everybody. This is how we work. Live. It was episode Lave. thirty-seven, and this is forty-one, which means it's actually yeah, it probably should be. It's due. It's well due. It's due. It is due. So episode forty-one is going to be looking back on series seven. I'm so very how excited. are we going to combine this into the Q and A? Um, no idea. Troy, do you know what I we're going to have... do? Do you know what, what we're we going to do? do? On YouTube exclusively this time, because I want to okay. keep this Spotify Q&A and poll combined. On YouTube exclusively, I will do a post the day after the podcast episode comes out, or maybe a few mm-hmm. hours later. I'll schedule mm-hmm. it. I'll work it out. Where I want you to let me know your thoughts on Series 7 of Doctor Beautiful. Get I'll do it exclusively post, through that, so it's separate, Love that. and we can do <laughs> what we want that way, and it will work perfectly. <laughs> Troy, All right. this, is, this is what I freaking this love, what I love you, man. See, episode 2 so of Season good. 2 is going to be a returning regular episode that we do every month. Yeah. Looking back on yeah. series. So on Spotify, are we gonna like so on Spotify do we call it episode forty one or do we call it season two episode one on there as well? Like how, how you, are we doing it? Isn't there a way you can have it with a little banner? Just keep it going. Maybe. We'll go, we'll say it's we'll say it's forty we'll forty one or whatever, but on that on what's his name you can say season on two. On Anchor you can say you? season two episode one, but that didn't that didn't do anything for the Redcast, I don't think. I think oh, really? I marked it as that, but I don't think well, it made any difference on that because I have three seasons of the Redcast and I don't seem to remember oh, that changed anything. Well, let's have no a look. Um, no, there's literally no split at all. No, nah, well then keep it episode 41 and when we can say series 2, it'll be series 2. The people people will know it's series 2. I'll mark it a series 2 and anchor. And yeah. on, on YouTube, should we, should, we, should we keep the numbers in the thumbnails as like 41? Or yeah, yeah. Let's talk about it yeah. after the recording, shall we? We'll talk about it. We're padding out runtime at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's out fine. Runtime. We're fine. So, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for hanging out for episode one of season back, two baby. of Who's There, a Doctor Who podcasty. Yeah. We really yeah, appreciate yeah, yeah. you all being here. It's been a, an interesting one getting kicked back up, getting excited for a whole new year of Doctor I Who know. content. Last year we did 40 episodes. This year we have to do more 40 episodes. Okay? That's the goal. And we will. That means I have no doubt. we need to take less than 12 weeks off. I think we can do that. We didn't Depends take 12 really weeks off, me, by the way. You know What? We didn't take 12 weeks off. We took six, five. Five or six, yeah. We just started later. Yeah. I'm just making it sad. You know, we, just, just, yeah. I'm saying there's reasonable goals that we can achieve. And okay? I appreciate that. So we're going to hit 1 million subscribers at the end of the year as well. It's okay, so good. everyone subscribe right now. All we need to do Go. is like message Russell T Davies and be like, right, at the start of the next episode, in the title sequence for David Tennant, mm. just put in there, David Tennant, Catherine Tate, subscribe to Who's There Doctor Who podcast, <laughs> Doctor Who, episode Thank one you. of the six. Yeah, great. That's how it's going to work. That's how it's going to work. That'd be great. I'm excited. That'd be great. I'm excited too. All right. See ya. Bye, everyone. See ya. Bye. Have a good one. Have you not? Have you, are we are we getting rid of Crispy's closing thoughts? Was that a retired? Is that a retired season one feature? Oh, uh, you want a you want a closing thought, mate? Do you want them or are we wrapping? Are we, is it not going to be a season two feature? What's going on? Here's here's a closing thought. You ready? Oh, I'm ready for a closing thought. What's your closing thought? I am so happy that we have a soundboard, and I could not be happier that we have one. Oh, Hope you all enjoyed the show, the everyone. Year. I'm going to hate this year so much. It's goodbye from Crispy. I said it's goodbye from Crispy. You're still doing it wrong. You have to say goodbye after that. Uh, it's goodbye from Crispy. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. Thank you all very much for listening to episode 41, season 2, episode 1 of Who's There, Doctor Who podcast. We'll be back next week live. Are we live? We're not live. We did, we did Christmas. Probably not live again, right? No, just normal. Nah, not yet. Just normal. Normal. All right, as well, per well, usual. I was going to get everyone excited then for another live episode, but that's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about oh, it. That's sorry, fine. mate. Sorry. You should be. You should be very sorry. When was our last live stream? It was the 22nd of December for an actual episode. So yeah, we'll wait a little bit longer. It's a bit soon. Yeah, not yeah. live. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sorry. We'll see you all next Saturday at the usual time, midday UK time, with a brand new episode where we look back on Series 7 of Doctor Who, which is an underrated season uh, with Matt's oh. best costume. Uh, we're going to leave that there, though. But there you go. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. We'll see you all next week. Until then, thanks for listening and bye-bye. Alonzi. Alonzi, baby. Alonzi. Alonzi.